What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a teleport effect using only Final Cut Pro X. So before we get started, this is what the effect is going to look like. So the hardest part about the teleportation effect is actually the filming. Because there are some rules that you have to follow. And one of them is that your camera has to be on a tripod. Because if there's movement in the shot, it's not going to look good at all. And second is the conditions has to be the same in, in all of your shots. Because if the lighting is different or there are different obstacles moving around in the shot, it's not going to look good either. So... Two rules that you have to follow. So the clips you're going to need are one before the teleportation, which for me is right here, and one while the teleportation is going on, which is just going to be a blank shot of your scene with no obstacles and no actor in it, and then one after the teleportation where your actor is going to get teleported out again. And then I have a sound, because of course you want some sound effects to make it cooler. And then last we have the green screen smoke itself. And I'll be sure to leave the download link in the description. I downloaded it off of YouTube and I'll be sure to leave a link. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to cut the clip. And you actually want to cut it right when your actor disappears. And for me that's right here. So go ahead and hit command B. And now you can delete this excess part right here because we're not going to use that. After this clip, you want to cut directly to the blank scene, and you can have that extended for the amount of time that you want the scene to be empty. And then you can cut directly into when the actor comes back in. So we want to cut that right here. Hit Command B, because the actor is going to appear right here again. And delete this excess part right here. Next up, we want to add the smoke itself to the clip. So go ahead and drag this smoke on top of your clips and drop it right when your actor is disappearing. But as you can see right here, it is a green screen smoke, so we are going to have to delete the green from the smoke. And to do that, you want to go under the Effects tab and go under Keying and drag on Keyer. Drop it on your green screen smoke and we have deleted the green. So now, what we want to do is, we want to place the smoke so it fits our, our actor. So, hit this transform tool, drag the corners to the size you want, and move it on top of your actor. Right here is good. Hit done. And now this is what it looks like. Go ahead and drag this to the end of our clip and hit alt or option on your keyboard and drag this smoke the original smoke to the end to duplicate it now we have two smokes because we want on at the end as well and so we also want to transform this smoke so select that hit the transform tool make it smaller again and place it over your actor right here now click done so now what we have is this so it looks good but we have one problem and that is that the first smoke stops quite suddenly as you can see right here it doesn't fade away like smoke is supposed to do it just stops so to fix that we can track in across the solve and drop in on our first clip delete the first transition right here and now we have a faded smoke so that that looks a lot better as you can see right here it fades out like smoke is supposed to do go ahead and do the same on the other clip as well and you can just stretch this to the end if you want so one thing we can do to make it a little better is we can add a transition. One I like to use is the directional blur from the blur tab right here. So you can go ahead and drag this right here 
and just make it as short as possible. Do that to both of your transitions. And now we have a little quick shake to make the effect a little better. So take a look at this. So it's not very noticeable, but it gives the effect a little dynamics to it, so it looks good. So next up, we're gonna add the sound. So you can go ahead and drag the sound right here and duplicate it by hitting Alt or Option and just dragging it again. So now let's take a look. So now it actually looks good and we can go ahead and tweak a little bit with the smoke to make it look a little better. So one thing you can do is you can hit command 6 and now you get the color board right here and you can tweak a little bit with the color, saturation and exposure. So let's say if you want a black smoke, you can create a black smoke or you can make whatever like whatever color you want exactly. So I like kind of a grayish color and one thing I also like to do is I like to make it a little transparent. So go ahead and decrease the transparency or opacity to I like let's say 90. And remember to do that on both of your smokes. 90 and Command 6. So now they basically look identical. Let's go ahead and take a look. Once it has rendered. Now. So I really liked what we've done so far. But one thing I would like to change is the smoke, the first smoke. I like to change the duration. And I would extend this a little further since it's it's visible for a very short period of time and I just think this is a little more realistic so a little more actually and now let it render and we can take a look so yeah I think that looks a lot better so that's it guys thanks for watching I really hope you like this video and to the guy that recommended this tutorial Thanks a lot to you too, and I really hope you found this useful. So that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave any video requests down below in the comments. So that's it. Bye.